Um, I think it's important that we quickly just wrap up the elections, because we talked a lot about the elections, the midterm elections. Uh, Republicans have taken the House. Uh, Republicans will control the House of Representatives. It's a very, very small margin. So I think they've got 222 or 223 uh, uh, seats. 218 is the majority. Um, so this is one of the smallest pickups in a midterm election by the opposition party ever. So you have to say this is a complete failure of Republicans to leverage the fact that Joe Biden is super unpopular, that uh, the woke agenda of the Democrats is super unpopular, that CRT is super unpopular, that the fact that crime rates uh, are going up is super unpopular, and yet Republicans barely made any, any kind of uh, impact. Unfortunately, um, uh, you know, my, my least favorite congresswoman from California actually got elected. Katie Porter got elected in Orange County. So those, those of you who could have voted in Orange County and didn't because you couldn't bother because it's California or whatever, you might have been the deciding vote because she, she won by a very small margin. Um, the Republican really challenged her. Hopefully in two years we can get rid of her. And then um, uh, in Colorado, uh, Bobbert, who is the crazy Trumpist conspiracy theory uh, Republican uh, who looked like she might lose, landed up winning, unfortunately, uh, by like 500 votes. So again, very small margin. Uh, hopefully, it's a wake-up call for her and that whole wing of the Republican Party. But of course, we will see. We will see if that is uh, that is actually uh, the case. Uh, so. A, a very poor, uh, we already know, I think we already discussed the fact that the Republicans did not take the Senate. Uh, the Senate, at best for the Republicans, will stay 50-50. At worst, will be 51-49. Uh, Democrats picked, the, picked up a Republican seat in, in uh, Pennsylvania, and Republicans didn't pick up a single Democratic seat. Not a single one, not even the one in Nevada. They may pick, might pick up the one in Georgia, but we'll see. And even if they pick that up, they'll just be 50-50. So, you know, about as bad of a showing as imaginable. Um, you know, polls turned out to be pretty good, pretty correct. Um, it certainly didn't bias against Republicans this time. Maybe, maybe a little too uh, 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 pro-Republicans the polls were. So uh, uh, polls are back uh, as compared to their failure in 2016-2020 in 2018, uh, but Republicans did really, 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 really badly, particularly given how poorly Democrats are thought of in the country right now. I mean, this should have been a red tsunami, and it wasn't. And you know, uh, you know I blame uh, just, just the candidates, the quality of the candidates, the kind of candidates they put up, the focus on the past, the focus on Trump, uh, the whole Trump phenomena, the, 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 the whole Trumpism. And um, uh, the, the whole focus on the election denial of 2020, just the whole focus of the party, there was no positive messaging. You want to inspire the American people? You want to win elections? You want to take over? You want to take control? Positive messaging. Give us a vision of the future. Give us something to look forward to rather than bitching and complaining and yelling and screaming and, 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 and crying. And I mean, you come off of the, as the party of the... The, the entitled whiner, you know, whiners, and, and, and that's what the Republicans came off as. And, uh, you know, good for the American people for not buying into that. Hopefully some lessons will be learned, and uh, in going into 2024 election, Republicans will have a positive message. I'm not going to talk today about uh, Trump announcing. Uh, I might do a, a show on Trump uh, either tonight or, or another night. We'll see, maybe tonight. Uh, that requires more time to really get into it and also more time uh, to, to kind of analyze for you my views on Trump, although I think, I think you guys know it. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. 
press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.